Wow. It's a pig's face. Pig's face. Ready? I, I think that the offensive smell of it, it's not Yves Saint Laurent over here, okay? Once again, I'm stumped on how to describe this. Red Hots, get your Red Hots. San Francisco cable car. What was this? Holy cow. What on God's green earth is that? around the world, you'll know this building is cold. Okay guys, I'm in the hotel and we got some lost ground to make up for. So where I'm going right now is I'm leaving the hotel and uh, I want to check it out because apparently it connects directly to this incredible shopping mall known as Terminal 21. And guys, I know how a lot of people feel about shopping malls. Trust me, I, I'm kind of right there with you. But this place needs to be seen, not only because it's convenient, because it's attached to my hotel, but because of the fact that this place is a foodie extravaganza, from what I'm hearing. That is a ground level whereby they have, each one has its own little market, if you will. That is just the ground floor. Apparently, there are themes on several floors. So let's start off in the basement, guys. Wow. Is that a pig's face I'm looking at? It's a pig's face. So do people actually eat pig's faces? Yes. Wow, How, what do they taste like? A pig's face? I can try it? Ah, oh. do you guys want to see me make a pig of myself by eating a pig's face? Okay, I'll try a pig's face. What's the best part of the pig's face? The cheek? I think the cheek is pretty good. Bourdain used to like the cheek. The tongue's good too, but I don't, I don't think there's a tongue in there. All right, they're gonna give me a piece to try here. Oh, you gotta put yeah, put put lots of sauce on there. Lots of sauce. Go ahead, dip it. Oh my goodness, guys, here we go. This is my first pig's face. Not too spicy. Pig's face. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Here goes nothing. I'm trying not to think of what it is. That pig bastard. It's very good. It's delicious. It's got like a almost a little bit of a leathery kind of a texture to it. You sink your teeth into it though. It's um, it's also kind of buttery, so it's very good. Okay, guys, come here and try your pig's face. Thank you, guys. All right. I'm kind of struggling at the end. On the corners, you get these little bites that are like feels like you're biting down on someone, and you are. Hello. So what do you got? So this is Dorian. I, I understand that it doesn't smell too good, right? It doesn't smell so good, but guys, I'm here, I don't smell nothing. So do you have one piece I can try? I don't want the whole thing, just one piece. All right, he's cutting it up. Oh, I'm starting to smell it. Can I smell it? Let me smell it, let me smell it. Oh, ow, oh, he's got gloves on. Ow. Guys, it's really spiny. And when I touched it, uh, it was like getting my finger pricked. All right, I'm gonna smell this stuff. You know what? It smells like a little bit... It smells like a chemical or something. It smells like... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. When you, when you uh, put varnish or shellac on something, it kind of has that sort of a chemical-y smell. Not overpowering, though. I don't understand why everybody says it sm smells so bad. It's, a, it's not that... It's not offensive. How much is it? How much? 100 gram, 100 gram. Okay, let me try one piece, yes. All right, I'll pay him the 100 baht. I got to try this. It's a first on YouTube, for me anyway. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat all that, but that's okay. Yes, perfect. Okay, so, so that, how much? 100. No, no, 100, 100, give me 100. I'm only gonna take one bite, 100. 150 baht. Okay, okay. 150. Okay, okay, all right, I just wanna bite, guys. So I'll do it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, not exactly the greatest way in the world to start eating a pig's tongue and smelly fruit. But I've heard so much about this durian stuff, and some people love it and some people hate it. I haven't heard anything in the middle. You know what I'll tell you right now, though? I, I think that the offensive smell of it is way overrated, unless they spray perfume on it or something. I don't know. I disagree with that. I don't think it's offensive. I mean, it's not a great smell. It's not Yves Saint Laurent over here, okay? But it's, trust me, it's no big deal. If it tastes as good as some people say it does, because supposedly some people say this is like the greatest tasting fruit, even though the smell isn't good. Anyway, okay, so here goes nothing. Dorian, 
First time ever, barefoot blogger. Oh yeah, I don't like it. It's really odd. It's the strangest thing I ever tasted in my life. It's not bad, but it's so otherworldly. I could, I, there's no way I could describe this stuff. Not a fan. Not terrible though. And supposedly it's like one of the healthiest things you can get. There it is. If you've never seen it before. Durian, D-U-R-I-A-N, I believe. It's growing on me. Yeah, it's kind of like an egg meets a mango meets a bucket of paint. Where do I sign up for that? You know what though? It's really cool when you can try new things and get different tastes. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if you've never had this before, if you've never been to this part of the world, you've never tasted anything like this in your life. Right. Guys, look at the presentation of this stuff. It's beautiful. Look, these things are blue. Remember George Collin had a skit one time, where's all the blue food? Wow, look at these pomegranates. Oh my goodness. Look at those oranges, wow. They're very orange. So, one of the things that sets this place apart from a lot of other places that are out on the street, this place is really, really cheap. Like, look, right here. Here's a meal for 219 baht. So, very reasonable because you get a lot. That's very filling. Guys, this place just keeps going and going and going for miles. What's back in here? Oh my goodness, as soon as you walk through those doors, you get an unbelievable wave of fruit and vegetable smell. You could just tell the quality of this stuff. Look how green these things are. So I guess this is sort of the uh, grocery section of it here. Wow guys, you, could, you can get lost in this place. It really does remind me of our trip to Latvia. I didn't want to go shopping. I got lost. No more durian for me. Oh, is there a lighthouse in here? I just noticed it. Guys, it's like uh, two and a half bucks. Wow, look at these buns. Guys, the colors that I'm seeing here are just absolutely spectacular. Every color under the spectrum, including like mixed colors that you would see in a crayon box. Uh oh, I see a lot of fried stuff. They're playing my song. Uh, that looks like some kind of deep fried fish. I don't think it's shrimp. If it was, I would try it. So if I'm reading this correctly, it's seven skewers for a hundred baht. I'm pretty sure that is correct. So you get seven skewers for under three bucks. Wow. Is this vegetables? Uh, no, what's it about? Inside chicken and what's it about? Chicken and vegetable. Wow, look at that thing, guys. 60 baht. Okay, I'm gonna try one of these. Uh, chicken and vegetable kaddish. Giving it a haircut. Can you put some sauce for me? Nice. Oh, thank you. 
Ready? Let's see what's in there. Look at that. Now, what, guys? I'm just gonna pick this whole thing up and eat it. It's good. It's got a little bit of kick to it. It, ta it tastes like there's some cabbage or something cabbagey that's kind of crunching in there, and it, it has um, it's got an, it's like a curry flavor to it. There's curry in there. Turmeric. I think it's turmeric. Um, it tastes Indian. It's good. Oh, structural integrity. Don't fall apart until you hit my mouth. All right, guys, these little wieners are calling my name. Hi. How much are these? Uh, 160 baht. Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, thank you. I should have got napkins. All right, guys. Thai sausages. You ready? Oh, they give you a little toothpick here. So I'm in business. Guys, I think these are going to be spicy, judging by the chilies that she threw in the back. You know what? It's funny because I was thinking, if any of you guys despise spicy food, Thailand may not be the place for you. I mean, you could get dishes with either less spice or with no spice in them, but it's uh, slim pickings. There goes nothing. Once again, I'm stumped on how to describe this. It's very odd. And I mean that in every, every good way. It's so exotic tasting. A lot of this stuff is filled with herbs and spices that we just don't use that much at home. Mmm. It's got a little snap to it. Mm, I'm liking these. Yeah, look at those green and red chilies laying right beside them. Get your red hots. Red hots, get your red hots. All right, guys. Like I mentioned, I believe they have several levels with various themes. And they even have an actual food court where you could sit down and um, partake in a restaurant's offering. So I'm not sure exactly where all that stuff is. This place is just gigantic. Paris. Okay guys, so I think I figured this out. There's the food is downstairs where we were, and then I think there's the food court that I mentioned way up on the top. So I wanna just go have a look at it. So this is Tokyo that we're on right now. Oh, Goku, Dragon Ball Z. That's a pretty smart idea to have different themed levels. This is London, London calling. They got the double-decker bus, the Bobbies, Istanbul. This is it, guys. This is the food court up here, an entire level. Unto itself. Hey, he knows the deal. The, uh, the, whole, the whole level. Is food court. Swanson's. We got one of those in Boca. Boat noodles, Fuji restaurant. So this is a sushi place. Ah, San Francisco cable car. Pretty cool. It's got little boots in here and everything. What is this? Storage. <laughs> I thought the uh, engineer was in there. Is that what they call them? I don't know. Probably not on a cable car. Anyway. Is that the Golden Gate Bridge? Why, yes it is. This place is really cool. For a mall. Actually guys, there's another level. And it looks like another level of food. Pretty cool shot right there. Spicy, yum, and grill. All right, KFC. I've seen enough. Mango is life. 
Does that mean Durian is dead? Yeah, my goodness, guys. This place just keeps going and going and going. Look at this. Now, that smell I know. It's fish sauce. And uh, it tastes good as an additive. I don't like the smell of it. Never did. I mean, it's no durian, but... I mean, you know what? It's a shame to even equate this with a mall because this this is a food market. Holy cow. What on God's green earth is that? Stewed pork leg. Now what? That must be really good. That's that's a pretty big dish in the Philippines, I know. He just dumped a whole bunch of eggs in there. It smells a little bit mothball-y, if I'm being honest. It's interesting though, I think this is a good lesson in that smell doesn't always dictate the taste. This doesn't hold true downstairs because obviously you just saw me paying cash down there, but uh, here, if you want to eat anything, you have to purchase a card. You, you load it up with as much as you want to put on there and purchase your, your choice. But if you got anything left over, you just bring it over there and they cash it out for you. What is this place, guys? Check this out. They got the conveyor belts. That's all the rage now, isn't it? So you just sit here, and whatever goes by, you just grab it before it gets past you. It's kind of like my luggage on the carousel at the airport. Holy crap. Those are the shiniest, greenest coconuts, if that's what they are, that I have ever seen in my life. They look like apples. Oh my god, they're kind of soft, too. Coconuts. Wow. Yeah, they are. Look. Yeah, you just split one open right there. Two of them. Okay, guys. I don't know about you, but I've eaten enough and I've seen enough. And I've certainly smelled enough. Onward and upward. Like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun. To dream. Let me give you a tour of this awesome Airbnb. First of all, to get in, uh, this is the key right here. And here's, here's a lock. You basically swipe it. Zero, one, one, unlocked. And it unlocks it. Pretty cool feature that took me a, a little while to figure out. But anyway, look at the size of this living area. I mean, it is just huge, open, comfortable, central air conditioning in this big giant room. And this is not your average hotel room, you know, the basically one room with everything in it, studio, okay? This is, I mean, look at this, guys. You got all the uh, kitchenware that you would need if you wanted to cook in here. You have a, a sink right here that you can use. You know, very comfortable couch here and there's a microwave there. I have my office area here that I can work nice size fridge that uh, 
she was good enough to leave me a couple of beers and uh, some water and, and some things. Here is my bedroom, guys. This is an awesome suite. It, this room alone, guys, is as big as most hotel rooms, if not bigger. And this, guys, this is what this is all about. This is the piece de la resistance here. Let me show you this view. This is Bangkok, ladies and gentlemen. Just the Chopraya River. You can see the boats on it from here. On the other side is Icon Siam, where uh, I will take you guys. I mean, you can see all the arteries, main routes, the highway there, and and here's the view upriver. So, what's interesting about this building is that. This building is very famous here and, uh, and famous to you guys everywhere around the world. You'll know this building. It's called the State Tower, this part that I'm stay staying in now. But it's also part of the Labua Hotel is in this very same location. And upstairs is the famous Sky Bar made famous from the movie Hangover 2. Remember where Chow was arrested? We're going to go up there later and I'm going to show it to you. That was the air conditioning kicking on. Beautiful breeze up here though. I'll tell you what, you open these uh, sliders, you almost don't need it. Nice good sized bathroom guys. It's all tile and hard wood by the way, which I really like. Keeps it nice and tidy. I will be able to do my own laundry here and I will do that before I leave at least one time. Sink and uh, good sized shower with the overhead shower nozzle as well as the uh, detachable wand that you can use. So, of course, you always have this. So guys, that's a tour of the Airbnb. Uh, this is a good part of town because it's equidistant to a lot of main landmarks and attractions that will make it easier for me to get around. By the way, any idea of how much I paid for this? A view alone in Miami would probably set you back, I don't know, depending on where, anywhere from 500 to 1,000 bucks a night, maybe even more, depending on the location. Here, I'm paying all in about 65 bucks a night. I mean, that's just, it's just unbelievable. Now, I, you know, that could depend on uh, demand, availability, and uh, time of season, but I'm not complaining. I think it was a great price.